makes cleaning the car like not doable. I know. I'm back at home. I dropped Ashley off at a day camp that her friend is doing, an older friend is doing for the kids in the neighborhood. See, I didn't even take my, I'm not, I'm not walking today. These are my shoes from my bag. Wait, one more thing, Jace. I've got to get my car put back together. Let me put this back in the back. It's raining. That's why I'm not going out there. <laughs> it's raining, so I'm not. Here, here, toss these in the back too. I didn't go on my walk this morning. I'm super tired. I'm really struggling to sleep at night. And um, anyway, took her to a little day camp this morning and uh, came back home. Officially filed a claim on his car, yeah. correct? Yeah. I can't get the video stuff a little though. Yeah. So we're going to go and get his estimate done in two weeks, two and a half weeks or so. 16th. Um, find out the damage on that. And then he's escalating that claim to a higher department to get our deductible covered. Well, they're wondering if they can investigate the guy and maybe reach out to him. Yeah. Because they don't have jurisdiction. Issues. Like requirements, yeah. yeah. Um, but we're hoping to get our deductible covered because that's it's ridiculous. So anyway, we're back to our normal Costco on a rainy Northwest day mm. with Ashley in school in this little camp for a few more hours. We're gonna run and do Costco. I'm actually gonna make a nail appointment after that. Why? You're always at the nail salon. I've been go. Can you not? I just—I thought you just got done. I got one done. My my thumb. Just nail. Just nail. Just one nail. Let's go. I'll shut the garage. Okay. Yeah. You shut. So, Kaylee texted us this morning, and she's like, "So, um, I have a predicament. I'm um, wanting to make my oatmeal, and I don't have a microwave, and I don't know how to make it." So I had to like, so you put your milk or your water in a pan, you warm it up, and you add your oatmeal. She's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. It's <laughs> like, Kaylee. Okay, anyway, she was, so then I didn't, I didn't say a word about it. So we get to Costco just now, and he starts walking down the kitchen aisle, and he's, I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm gonna go look for microwaves. Who's this sucker now? Dad. Are you getting it? There's, there's only three. That one. 380. <laughs> that's like an oven. Yeah, that's like an oven. It's an oven range Whoa. microwave. This is 70. And then this one is 149. Yeah. If you're well, going to get... But is, should we go to Target? No. no it's it's going to be the same, right? We've been through this. It's just... Maybe, yeah. If you're going to get it, Maybe. you're going to get it. Okay, yeah. The brand doesn't matter. So yes, there is a microwave in that cart. <laughs> um, also, when we were helping Kaylee move in, Jacob's mom was like, oh, we need to vacuum in here. And, and I was like, well, where's the Roomba? But, you know, and Kaylee was like, oh yeah. Uh, they didn't give us the Roomba. <laughs> Turns out she gave it away. And so we are gonna do the vacuum exchange. Give her our old one and I get a new one. Or swap with the store one, um, whichever one. This is probably like a better option for her, for her small place, but it's like $200 more than well, I know this it's vacuum. Smaller, it's smaller, it's but, smaller but like it's more awesome. expensive. All right, didn't really give you a Costco haul. We've got basic stuff. Um, the only extra thing that I don't normally get is corn on the cob. It sounded really good for dinner either tonight or tomorrow night. I'm gonna try and make a really good um, meat. It's a Mongolian beef, but on a budget, on a little baller budget, <laughs> you make it with ground beef. Um, I saw a recipe online a long time ago and then I re-saw it last, last week and I wanna try it. Um, and a good rainy day, it'll be a nice, good warm meal. Hopefully I can do that tonight. Then the only other thing that was kinda different was this Alani uh, protein shake. Um, and it's the cookies and cream flavor. We're trying to change different things for Ashley to try. We got these when we were taking Kaylee to school. We got those at Walmart for her while we were in Walmart. 
she didn't totally love it, but I, and it was cold, so I don't know why she didn't love it, but she is done with camp in three minutes, but um, one of her friend's dads texted me and he was like, yeah, they're coming over to my house. <laughs> they just live around the corner from where her camp is. And uh, can you come open this for me, Han? Um, anyway, so they're gonna play over there today. And I just texted the other two girls that have been, are you done with camp? Are you done with camp? Are you done with camp? <laughs> I was like, give them a second. They're not done until one. And I'm sure they'll want you to come over and play. So um, anyway, but I'm gonna open my Dyson. I was gonna vacuum yesterday. Yesterday we got home. I didn't film yesterday driving home. I needed to edit in the car. I did that for half of the drive and then um, took some quiet time. Everyone in the car needed some quiet time after the second half of our day. Um, so I did not film yesterday, but when I got home, I, I kind of had like the, just clutter itch and I just needed to clean everything. So I cleaned the whole kitchen. I wiped everything down. Jason swept and mopped for me. I didn't have the kids do their chores necessarily. And I added my cute little Hawaiian table runner. And then this is what the other side is gonna look like come a few weeks from now when the summer is technically over. And that's gonna look really, really pretty. Are you trying to film this? I am, but you were struggling to open the box. I wasn't struggling to open the box. I was <laughs> opening the box. I know. I haven't bought a new Dyson in a long time. You have to put it together. I guess it's really easy. You're just clicking things into place. It's a man's job. Don't worry about it. It's easy. Okay, I'll leave it for you to do. You're going to film it or something? That's what you I said. Can. That's why I put it over Yeah, I know. Really. Okay. Yeah. Um, my, I was going to go get my nails done, but I called. And it's fun because the, the owner of the salon now knows me and my, she sees my name. She's like, hey, Dana, I really hope you don't want to come in today. Because <laughs> she always like gives me like, come right now, come right now. So I, I purposely call her right when I can go in. And she's like, I really hope you can't come in right now. And I was like, well, I was kind of hoping I could. And she's like, Dana, everyone's here today. I can't get you in. And she felt bad. And I was like, all right, I'll take tomorrow. And she's like, thank you so much. I don't think she likes to do it when I when it's super busy, or have me come in when it's super busy. Can you get it? I don't know, I can't tell if I should pull it. Yeah, you can pull it, yeah. Well, I don't know, it's like, is it, is it I don't know if stuck it's in tied there? in. I don't want to start trying to rough things out. I might just undo it. Undo the box, way. okay. This is the Animal 3. This is different than the one we currently have, even though we don't have animals. This is the filter's different. Yeah, and like, given how much hair is on our floor, this is the Dyson Ball. I don't know what this one was. Anyway, the orange ball one. So this one will go to Kaylee. And uh, I'll get it cleaned out for her, but can you, I mean to pull the box. There you go. Anyway, since I'm not going to get my nails done, um, and we didn't go on a walk this morning. My girlfriend, she says, I don't have time to go on a walk with you and it's raining and I have a ton of work to do and she just barely got done with her work. She actually works for his brother. Can you kind of show how easy it is to do this? Sure. He already did one step. And this comes up and I'll hold it. Anyway, she's free and we're gonna go and I don't need lunch, but we're just gonna go chat. We haven't talked in a long time. It's a little bit different. It's probably like, I wonder if, it, oh, there you go. I just need to hold it for you to get it down in there. Uh, the oh, that's twisted. Can we hold it? It needs to go down into the hose. Click, there you go. I love the Dyson. I know people go for sharks these days, but Dyson's always been good for us. Yeah. That as far down as it goes. Yeah. There you go. Well, these are just the Those just the attachments. It has a different little like attachment point here. Yeah, this has to go in here more. Yeah. There oh, there, go. there it clicked. There we go. There we go. Since it's so manly to put the vacuum together, it's maybe good to just 
practice with it and make sure it works correctly. <laughs> you have work to do. I don't really feel like vacuuming right now anyway. I'll do it tonight. But she looks pretty. And we'll hand that one down. Maybe we'll just put that in the box. I, I don't know. It's probably just easy enough to put that in her car when she comes. What? Where are these little attachments attached to? Do you have to just keep them in a separate spot? I wonder if... um, Because that was nice about that one is that they all hooked to it. wonder if there's like a thing that you have to like... Maybe the instructions? So we haven't figured out how to attach these attachments. Maybe we can't, but we this a, is a cool one. We have a bunch where it becomes them. like a, a mini hose, a mini vacuum. This is going to be great for the car and then for like stairs and stuff. But we haven't figured out how to... Because they're old one, all the attachments. Well, where do they go on this one? They don't go... Yeah. So I think that little clip... Yeah, see that little clip... Clip. This piece, there's a piece right there, right uh, there. This thing? Yeah. I don't know where. It, let's get the instructions. Just to document that little part, couldn't figure out what it was, but I didn't need the instructions. I figured it out. They don't want to put that on camera, but I did. I figured it out. Um, it is this little piece here. You just had to take off this by clicking, taking it off. Slide that little baby down. Now all the little extra parts will go right there. Dana turned off the camera before I could figure it out. So, there you go. <laughs> it pulled up the carpet. It sucks so good. Holy crap. I bet you're about to get a lot of stuff out of that. And we vacuumed right before we left. I'm going to leave you to that. And let you practice with it. The cord just the outlet when needs to get redone. Man, <laughs> I love friends. I love a good friend who just just tells you, "Hey, do you want to go sit in the parking lot and talk?" And we both get to talk good and bad things that have happened. And she had things that happened in her life this week. She's like, "I feel like it's been forever since we've talked. It's literally been a week and a half." <laughs> And so much has gone on in our lives that we just da -da 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 -da, and it's been two hours. So her husband called and uh, he's like, are you going to go to the store and come home? <laughs> she's like, yes, I'll go to the store right now. <laughs> he's like, you haven't already? And she's like, no, I've been talking to Dana. So anyway, I'm going to head home. I got flowers at Trader Joe's. I'll show you when I get home. We met at Trader Joe's. We're in the parking lot. Um, but I'm going to probably just need to go home and edit. But I also need to find out when Ashley needs to get picked up. She just went to the friend's house. Um, it's not raining now. And it's not cold. So maybe if I can get some editing done, I can go for a walk. I'm still dressed like I could go for a walk. I literally have my sports bra on. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess if it stops raining, I'll just change my shorts and go. And I, now I don't feel like it, but I should. I should go get some steps in, some miles in. We'll see, we'll see what we got going. This is in the wild here. Dana cooking in the wild. We call them record it. It doesn't happen very often. Yeah. What you making? Looks yummy. Mom, Mongolian beef on a budget. Oh, I like it. Mm-hmm. So, he's watching the Olympics and I'm cooking. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You enjoy your show. Okay. And I'll, I'll just, I hate that. Oh, I catch those drawers all the time with the pockets. If I could change. <laughs> I mean, I would change everything about this kitchen, but. It's not a bad kitchen, but. No, it's just not what I want, but. Those, I would not do, not be like that. Anyway, I'm just making a. Ooh, that onion is strong. Mm-hmm. It's gonna taste great. So we'll let you know how it, how it is. But we're making Mongolian beef with ground beef. That's how you make it on a budget. <laughs> I'm excited. What do we got? Your wife got you some food. Got rice. That wasn't hard. Then we've got our, our Mongolian beef on a budget. Um, I only had um, chicken broth instead of beef broth. So I think we could have a little bit more flavor 
And if I had real ginger. What do you mean? This is, you're supposed to use real ginger, like shredded grain. Oh, real ginger. oh, oh, well, yeah. But I didn't have any. It's all good. So well, look at that pretty little, we'll open that up again. Wow. Have you not seen it? That's going to last probably another 10 years, and then we'll need some different ones. No way, I just make you food. <laughs> I'm going to eat my own bowl. <laughs> it looks good. It is good. You better be grateful. I've got corn on the cob boiling too, but. Okay. I appreciate it, love. Mm -hmm. Time to dish up. Time to dish up. <laughs>